Selling a work truck has always been about marketing capability. If you're gonna buy a work truck, it better get the job done. Trucks have also almost always been about image as they were about looking tough. You gave her more good looks and comfort than a lot of cars will give you. That's why spectacular feats of strength and durability have been the key in advertising. Whether it's been in production for decades or it's a prototype showpiece. Yes, Ford gets gas mileage ratings this high. A new high for full-size pickups. Most of the time, these demonstrations are heavy on spectacle and light on real-world application. But commercials have always been about selling the sizzle, not the steak, even when that steak has a twin I-beam frame or a high-torque Cummins diesel. Let's take a look at a few of these stunts from over the years. Dropping a big bundle of rocks or lumber into the back of a pickup seems like it'd be a great way to show off how much your truck can carry and how stout its suspension is. It makes a lot of sense. It's how they test dump trucks. But how often do you really have something drop from high up into your pickup's bed? Probably never. However, Ford seemed to think so when it launched a new Ranger in Australia. Dropping more than 400 pounds of lumber or cinder blocks into the back of a pickup sure looks impressive for the camera, even if it's only a fraction of what Ford says the truck can carry. The truck holds up to the tests on camera. A pickup needs to be able to carry a load on its bed, but if it can't tow something, a truck just isn't worth the steel it's made of. Chevy knew its Cheyenne had to do more than just break even with its rivals, Ford and Dodge, so it took its truck logging. Pulling 187 tons of logs seems like a big deal, but on a level road, more than you think is possible. Still, the Chevy probably wouldn't make a living hauling logs, but at least it could give the job a shot. Fifth Gear decided what a diesel Volkswagen Touareg could do with a 747 hooked up behind it. Granted, the V-Dub had a V10 inside, but it's hard to say they didn't have the old Chevy beat fair and square. Towing and payload stunts probably have at least a little practical meaning, but the classic pickup tug of war? That's brand rivalry distilled to F-150 proof. Sure, a tug of war is a head-to-head -head contest of torque figures, but is anybody really going to play tug of war with their $80,000 luxury truck? The answer is, more than likely, no. Of course that never stopped Ford from stunting on Chevy and Dodge with a three-way tug of war. Bring it on! It wasn't scientific, it wasn't practical, it was just cool as hell. And that's exactly why Elon Musk decided to challenge a Ford F-150 to a tug of war against his storied yet still very much vaporware Tesla Cybertruck. The massive Cybertruck, driveline stats still a mystery, hauled off an easy victory. Makes sense, the stunt was never meant to be fair. It was never meant to be scientific. It was meant to be fun and maybe sell some trucks. All of these stunts were. Maybe they sold some pickups, maybe they didn't, but they certainly were fun in any case. Ranger's mileage is way up there. Yes, with its all-new diesel engine, Ranger's mileage is this high. And that's why we love them. Let's see that again. Some terrific pounding, huh?